Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. Three capacitors are arranged as shown. What is the total capacitance of the arrangement? Okay, so we want to find the total capacitance of the arrangement. So clearly, like in these kind of questions, we have to first identify two capacitors which are easily identifiable whether they are in series or in parallel. So these two are in parallel, clearly. There is no doubt about that. Like if, if uh, you just forget this uh, capacitor, clearly these two are in parallel. That is why we will just take these two in parallel and we do it. So in parallel, what we do, C equivalent or you can call it C total. C total will be equal to C1 plus T2 uh, in parallel combination. So this plus this, that will become two. So this uh, circuit can be redrawn as this. So this becomes 2 microfarad, this becomes 2 microfarad. Now they are in series. So we would be using the formula for the series, which is given by this. But my dear students, you can use this formula any day, any time, no problem at all. But I always tell this thing in my classes, like what, uh, what are, can we do? We can easily see that the answer will be 1 microfarad here. Sorry, there is no micro there. Okay. So we can easily see that it will be the half of the two capacitors and how you see uh, number one is this formula. If these two capacitors are equal, if these two capacitors are equal, like one by CS, you take the LGM here, it will be C1, C2. So CS will be given by C1, C2 divided by C1 plus C2. So this is the second very important formula that you can use. Like you need not to go for this kind of equation because solving this is a bit uh, difficult students they create uh, calculation mistakes there also you cannot use this equation for the mental calculations but this equation is far more easy to use when you are not supposed to use the calculator you can just think you can just imagine like here 2 and 2 so 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 2 divided by 2 2 plus 2 is again 4 so 4 by 4 is 1 clearly the answer will be 1 so this equation is easy to handle that is why i always uh, advocate for this now there is the third thing also that you need to note whenever you are supposed to use this kind of a formula whether you're talking about the current and electricity in 5.3 or you talk about uh, the uh, uh, capacitors in uh, series we are using this kind of formula when you're using two equal capacitors the answer is always half of it so if instead of two it is five year and five year the answer will be 2.5 if it is seven year seven year the answer will be clearly 3.5 there is no thinking involved. So the answer will be one farad clearly in this question. So this is how we do this uh, question. Let us see what is the uh, answer here. And yes, the answer given is A. So this is how we do this question, my dear students. So this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also join the YouTube channel if you want to access the paper two questions. All the best.